Hello, friends. If you are from northern part of Nigeria, you must know me and Toshi, which is also called the pumpkin soup, and it's normally paired with Mata Pankaso or Twanshin Kafa. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how I make my own version of me and Toshi. At least, this is how my mom makes hers, and I learned most of my cooking from her. So, let's go. Normally, you need your brisket, is it brisket, biscuit, or brisket spoon? <laughs> you will need that to make me and she. So in my pot, I'm going to be sauteing some onions. First, adding some vegetable oil and some onions. By the way, you can use palm oil because I've seen people using palm oil to make me and she too. So after frying your onions, you're going to add your tomato pepper mix. I closely blended this because I want it rough rather than smooth. So here is my pumpkin peeled and clean. I'm going to add this into my tomato pepper mix and allow it to cook until all the water is, has evaporated. So I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook. Alright, this is how it looks after using my masher. I'm going to mash the pumpkin. Roughly mash it because you still want to be seeing pieces of it instead of you just, you know, making it all smooth. So mash that using your masher and then I'll be adding the remaining ingredients. Here I added some beef stock. If you don't have beef stock, you can just use water. Add in your toasted peanut powder. I'll be adding some meat and my biscuit bone. And of course some paprika for the color. I love using paprika because whenever you're making a soup and it's not a bit, you know, red in color, you can just use paprika to just add more color to it. And of course more this thing more uh taste so after stirring everything i'm going to you know adjust my this thing by adding more water here i added more water because me and toshi is usually watery especially for masa is not usually thick so i adjust my seasoning by adding some salt and seasoning cubes make sure you taste the salt and seasoning before uh before adding because remember we use beef stock which has already has a salt and seasoning. So after that, I'm going to stir everything and then cover the pot and allow it to cook for a few minutes. So I'll be introducing my veggies now, but before that, I'm going to add this really onion, garlic and herb spice. I love using this herbs in my cooking. Actually, it's enhanced the flavor, the taste, and every other thing. So here I'll introduce my spinach. I will be using spinach for this. Let's get out uh, in my house where I grew up. My mom used spinach. But there are some people that use yakuwa. If you know yakuwa, you can also use yakuwa. So I've added some spinach and then more onions. <sighs> After adding that, I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to simmer a bit. But keep in mind, you don't want to overcook your spinach. Issue, I don't know how to explain this. The maximum time you cook your spinach, I think should be a minute or two. You don't want to overcook your spinach. So at this junction, I'm just turning everything together and... Alhamdulillah, my soup is ready, almost done. It's even ready at this juncture. So you can serve this with either masa. If you don't know how to make masa, I've already shared a recipe. Just scroll down the page to see that. Or I'll be posting a new one, maybe later on or tomorrow. So you can just watch that. 
And for Pankasal to have already posted that the only recipe that I haven't posted that you can enjoy with this soup is my is Tuanshin Kafa. But I'll be posting that soon too. So here I'm serving this with both Masa and Pankaso. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Please like and share my videos. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.